Hey, John, appreciate the time today, man. Uh, first and foremost, uh, it's been a little while since we've seen you, and this is the first time we're seeing you at heavyweight. We've known about this move for a little while now, but let's hear from you. Why, why did you move up to heavyweight for this fight? Well, uh, especially with the whole quarantine going on and New York being a little bit of a crazy place to train, uh, getting, to, getting down to 205 would have been uh, some adventure. <laughs> so, uh, you know, this just happened to work out timing was kind of perfect just to move my way uh get my way move my way up so uh yeah i mean that's pretty much why it was but uh i do think i was always going to do it it's just a matter of when and this seemed uh seemed like the best time coming off a loss and you know just feeling like why not let's go try it out <laughs> Do you feel like this will be a permanent move or is it just kind of a, like you just said, a trial, like a, a one-off, you'll see how you do on Saturday and take it from there? Or are you a heavyweight uh, man? I'm not really sure. I mean, I'm a pretty big guy, walk around pretty heavy. So it'd be, uh, uh, you know, interesting to get back down. We'll see, you know, but if I got offered a fight at 205, I wouldn't necessarily decline it. So uh, we'll just see what they want to do. It's really up to Mick and Dana and stuff. Um, yeah, they're smart guys. They know a lot more about this than I do. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I think heavyweight is what I'd like to be in my future. At. And one of the more recent times that we saw you in the UFC spotlight was actually uh, during your your friend and training partner Chris Weidman's fight week, and you guys were doing the open workout, and you know he was kind of teasing you a little bit there, and you know uh, saying about your weight and that you were going to be at heavyweight next, and then it turns out that that's where you're going. Has he given you a hard time about this move at all? <laughs> No, I mean, he's been pretty much, you know, a saving grace this whole camp. I really, you know, there's not a lot of people back home to train with, so it's pretty much it's been me and Chris a lot. Um, but, you know, putting on a little bit more weight, it's, he, he doesn't like it in certain situations. But, it, uh, you know, I'm bigger now. I'm a little bit chubbier, so you won't see me with my shirt off quite as much as I used to be, you know. <laughs> Usually my thing is I'm going to be down at 205. I'm going to have my shirt off the entire time. But six pack isn't there for long. <laughs> That's the now, attitude. Now I'll, uh, I'll stay warm, you know. <laughs> there, there you go, man. And uh, let's talk about, uh, can you kind of compare, you know, how you've been feeling, what, what you expect the heavyweight version of Jean Vellante to be in the cage? Do, do you feel like you'll feel any different out there, more power? Like what, what do you think fans should expect to see out of you at heavyweight? Um, I think my style kind of is more of a heavyweight style than it is a light heavyweight style. I like to go forward, like, um, you know, big shots. I'm willing to trade with anybody. And uh, I think that's a good thing for heavyweight. I mean, it could prove to be dangerous, but it could also be, you know, prove to be fruitful. So see which way it turns out on Saturday. But, uh, you know, my thing is to go in there, trade, have some fun, and, you know, make exciting fights. And uh, that's what I like to do. Um, I think Maurice will try to make it more of a, you know, a fight where he stays long and stays away type thing. And my whole thing is to try and make it dirty, get move forward and put some leather on him. Right on. My last question, or the last question for me, um, you know, where do you think a win will put you in the division? You know, did, did you feel like uh, that you could somehow enter the UFC heavyweight rankings with this? Like, where, where, you know, kind of what do you what are you thinking is at stake here in this fight um i don't think it would put me ranked but i mean i know maurice is probably like uh say like a top 20 guy so i'd probably be somewhere right there then maybe you know maybe one more fight uh fight someone ranked or something like that so i really don't know how these ranking things work i was there for a while and i wasn't and I was there <laughs> so i don't really know how they work but uh yeah i mean i could see myself somewhere in that like 20 range, 18 range, something like that. If I, uh, you know, get a win here and then maybe fight someone to get ranked, you know, somewhere in the top 50. Right on. Appreciate the time, John. Thanks, man. Be realistic, you know. <laughs> Up next is Jay Anderson with Kate Cypress. Hey, thanks very much. And uh, welcome back, John. I want to ask you a little more about the heavyweight move because back in Moncton in 2018, you were actually talking about maybe doing it then. Uh, was there ever a point when you, you know, considered doing this a little bit sooner? Um, yeah, yeah, I've always, you know, my coach and stuff like that always thought it'd be a good idea for me to do. Just, you know, especially with the, you know, the style I fight and stuff like that, they just thought it'd be better up at heavyweight. But, um, you know, I saw myself, I was, you know, at 205, I had fought pretty much 
anyone ranked in like the top 10 and had some good fights in there with some of those guys or beat some of those guys. So I was like, you know, I'm right there in this division. Maybe I can get to the top. But then I was just like, you know, you get a loss or two and you're like, I ah, forget it. Now I'm uh, up at heavy. Let me try my luck up here and see how it goes. <laughs> No, I know you fought heavyweight outside of the UFC, so does that make the quote unquote debut here a little less nerve wracking? Um No, I mean you know, fight to fight always gonna have a little nerves. I mean, been in there UFC octagon probably you know, close to twenty, twenty one times. I don't even know. So, you know, it's always there a little bit, but I mean the weight thing doesn't really have anything to do with it. Uh been heavy before so it's not really going to be much different you know fight in front of no fans i think it's going to be a little bit of a weird part but we'll see <laughs> what's uh your, your take on that because we hear some people say they enjoy it we hear some people say i can hear everything i can hear the announcers i'm taking yeah. from dc what are you expecting uh i don't know it's gonna be interesting i, I don't really know i've never done it like I think maurice might have a little bit of an advantage advantage there being on Ultimate Fighter, they, you know, there's not much fans of those things. So, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting, going to be weird, but it should be fun. I mean, we'll see how it goes. I just, you know, I know what's the fight. I know guys are going in there to try to take my head off. So it should be pretty fun. And last one for me. I mean, you've been gone for a little bit. And uh, in the interim, you became a dad back in uh, December, if I'm not mistaken. So how has that changed your outlook on, on fighting and, you know, just in life in general? Um, I mean, it's awesome. Love the little guy, man. He's six months today. So it's pretty awesome, man. I, uh, couldn't be more. It just, you know, like, you know, we talked about like nerves a little bit, like as far as nerves go, like, it just makes me realize like nothing matters as much as that guy. So who gives a shit what happens <laughs> in a fight? You know what I mean? Like, just go out there and have fun. So that's a big thing for me is to think like that. You know, he's, he's awesome. Love being around him want to make a better life for him go in there whatever it costs all right man well congratulations and looking forward to this weekend thank you very much next question is from steven morocco steven your line has been unmuted hey john can you hear me yo um just curious um how close were you to fighting uh ben roswell at 249 can you tell us what happened with that booking yeah i was very close i was uh I mean, I I accepted it and said let's go. But talking to my coach and my manager Dave Martin and Trimble, they uh they were very much against it. And I have some, you know, I have asthma. I have uh, had pneumonia probably like seven out of the past ten years. Like I I don't have the best lungs, so if I got it, I probably you know might die. <laughs> so I said. Uh, you know, they kind of convinced me not to do it. Being a new father, I just like let me be a little bit more uh, cautious here. So didn't do it. I stayed in uh, the whole isolation and containment for you know a couple of months there. And then said, all right, I had enough of this. Let me get back out there. I need to work. And uh, contacted the UFC, and they were uh, able to find me an opponent. What was that like for you, being in uh, being contained for two months? Ah, uh, it's awesome. <laughs> I loved it. I got to spend every day with my son, man, and my girlfriend, and Katie. We had a great time. I mean, <laughs> I know a lot of people didn't like it, but for me, you know, having a newborn at that time, it's awesome. I got to spend every minute with them. So did enjoy that. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I feel bad for a lot of the people back home, especially in New York. I mean, New York is crazy my coach a lot of my friends you know can't open their businesses or you know even live a real life right now so it's very hard on a lot of people especially financially so you know i'm hoping uh things start to get back to normal asap so so i'm sorry did you come out to to vegas to do your camp or did you do camp back in new york no i did it back home i mean i definitely don't want to leave my kid that long so i did it back home um wasn't easy but I uh, found a way to get done, get it done. Like I said, I've been in there a long time. I'm a veteran here. I, I know what I need to have in a fight camp, and I was able to get that. And uh, that's it. It wasn't the most um, ideal situation, but I found a way to make it work. 
And what did you think of uh, Ben's performance against OSP? And is that a fight that you would like back at some point? Um, I did not watch it. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I don't really watch a lot of the uh, other fights, especially, you know, I, I just, I don't know why, but maybe it's an anxiety thing. When I know I have a fight or something like that, I really don't watch it more. Unless I, don't, unless I know a guy, I really don't watch it. Like, I watch Steve Bay fight, I watch Chris fight, I watch Aldo fight, Al fight. I watch my buddies fight, but most of the time it's, uh, you know, just the thing, because I know I do it, it's kind of like I don't really have an interest in it unless it's my friends. Gotcha. Well, thank you. Glad everything promotion. worked out for you. <laughs> What'd you say? Yeah, um, thanks Thanks for answering my question. Glad everything worked out for you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, man. And our last question is from Augusto Herman ESG from Samos MMA. Cool. Hi, John. How are you? Good. Okay, uh, I, I want to I want to ask you. Uh, you have said it. You haven't fought recently, but you have much more experience than than your rival. So, do yeah. you think these these things will be a decisive factor in the fight? Um, I mean, everyone in the UFC, no matter new or or old, <laughs> like myself, uh, they deserve to be there. It's a, it's a tough sport, and it's uh, the best organization in the world. So. You're the best fighters in the world. So I don't know that, you know, having the experience will help, but something that I hope helps. <laughs> and Green has said in a, in a recent interview that if you don't arrest, I'll wrestle him, you will get knocked out. So I want to if know. I wanna, if I want to wrestle him, I'll get knocked out? If, if you don't wrestle him, I would wrestle him, uh, you are going oh, okay. to get knocked out. Okay. So uh, the, the question is, uh, what are you going to do to counteract his reach advantage? And how do you imagine the fight? Uh, maybe I should wrestle. I don't know. According to, <laughs> I guess I should do that. Um, I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm no, not really a huge game plan guy. I kind of go in there and get the feel and go out there and fight. But um, we'll see what happens. I mean, if I want to, maybe I will wrestle. I haven't done that in a while. So <laughs> maybe I'll do that. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, th thank you. Thank you, Jan. And best of luck on, on Saturday. Appreciate it. That's all we have for you today, sir. Thank you. Cool. Later.